Hi everyone, you're on a 5 min AI channel and my name is Mark. Today I'm going to show you how to process CV attachments from your Gmail and contact only successful candidates. Also, we're going to use Airtable to store some data like job requirements and uh, CV details. Let me quickly show how it works. In Airtable, we have a list of jobs. This job has job title, prompt and instructions. For example, we can check requirements for this job of uh, software developer. Uh, yeah, you can see pretty standard uh, job description. Also, we have a special instructions uh, for AI how to analyze candidate CVs and how to score it. These instructions was also generated with AI, so you can simply do it with ChatGPT. And then every time we receive uh, some CV on our Gmail, for example, this one, John Doe, software developer engineer, uh, it's simple PDF, uh, it's recognizable. Yeah, and we can. And simply parse it. Uh, we parse it with our complex process and as a result uh, we accept uh, this candidate, send uh, him some message or we could uh, decline him based on uh, score and also for successfully approved candidates we save their data in our air table. We save main data but we also can store much more data like work experience, education, languages, skills and other details. Also we save in file itself to quickly check it if you need to do it before call with candidate for example. So let's get started and check how you can build it. Before we continue please subscribe on the channel, like this video and leave some comments. It will help us to grow and provide you much more interesting and valuable guides with anything that may help you as a business owner or freelancer. So, as you can see, this scenario is quite huge, but it's because we cover all different cases uh, that might be in this process. It sounds simple, but for example, you can receive not only CV on your Gmail, but uh, some simple emails that not associated with uh, your HR work, or you can receive doc files or PDF that can be parsed. And we will consider all these cases in this workflow and prepare for them. So let's get started. What we have here. First of all, we start with the simple Gmail Mail trigger that gets new uh, emails. Actually, right now I set up filters for getting special email from my list, but you just need to use this event and uh, yeah, just delete this filter and it will get only new emails. After that, we aggregate because you can get multiple mails here on this step, but then we trigger um, again <laughs> Gmail to get all messages unread. Why we do that? because this workflow was made based on real case we faced there with the problem that some of messages uh, could uh, create error during execution and if for example this workflow was triggered with the five new emails and on the second one you got an error then next time when um, this trigger will be run you will process only new one emails and the uh, email with the error and three additional mail will be not processed. So that's why we do this additional step to be sure that all uh, emails that unread we will take them and process. Then we start in this uh, loop. So this loop starts here and actually done path is uh, simply finishing our scenario. So we need to go through all messages from Gmail doing all this workflow for each uh, message. As a first step we get attachments. Again we have multiple attachments. Usually uh, people send only one file but we are going to pre prepare to all cases and uh, that's why we get exact email just download attachments you can find this option for example if you simplify you won't see these options at all needed options here and click download attachments so as a result you will see list of uh, downloaded attachments and also you will get access to file name file extension and it will help us further to check if it's uh, this file PDF or maybe it's doc. Actually, we can process doc. Uh, at least I don't know how to simply do that in NA10. And we do a new loop of our attachments. So if uh, in the previous loop we have uh, no additional options, here we have this special option. It's required if you're 
trying to make this complex structure like loop in the loop. Uh, without this additional option, you will have uh, different errors and hallucinations uh, due running multiple items. So yeah, just don't forget it. It's quite important. Then mm, we check if uh, our file, first one or second one, because we may have multiple attachments and first attachment has uh, like index zero, then one, two, three, and so on. So we check in only first two attachments. If some of them are PDF, then we try to extract PDF here. And we also have uh, this ternary condition to get uh, data from attachment one or attachment two. Here we need to provide key and this key is dynamic based on attachment index. Then we set text. So in case it's not PDF file, for example, it could be doc. Sometimes people send uh, links to Google Drive folders or files in body, or sometimes they send us text of uh, resume as text in body. So we want to cover all these cases and we do it with uh, this simple ternary condition where we specify that we want to get um, like JSON text. For example, if we extract it, then we have this text key. Otherwise, we try to get it from body of email. Yeah, so we go to this node, uh, get email details and attachments. Oh yeah, this one. And here you see that we have all data and also we have uh, text data. It's like body of for email and we use it here. Anyway, we get some data here. Then when we iterate it through all attachments, we need to aggregate this data under text key. So in case you have multiple attachments, we will have uh, in this array, array uh, two items like um, text from first attachment and text from second attachment. Then we have special condition um, to check if we have uh, some text, if it's not a doc. Yeah, so actually what we're checking here that um, if we aggregate uh, data in this array and if it will be empty then we will ask sender to check his document or check his email and provide us a different type of uh, document actually we need a clear pdf file that uh, contains copied text and uh, yeah or oh, they can include uh, cv as text in the body of email we do the same if we found that one of like the, the first attachment is doc or if body and uh, because it's again all text from both file and body of email contains this URL. This URL will be if user added uh, URL or somehow, I don't know how it works, actually attached a uh, different way uh, his file to email and we have a link of file in the body instead of have it as attachment for email. In all these cases, we will ask to do it again. Marcus read this email. Yeah, nothing special, just map ID. If not, if everything good, if we have some content to process further, then we try to get a list of jobs from our error table. So in our table we have a list of jobs as um, I showed you before. So it's quite um, useful because in case you have uh, multiple jobs and you set up the same email for all of them in job description then you will have a mix of different CVs on your email. On the first step we need to understand what job should be chosen and because we will use prompt and instructions from this job so we match a CV with the job. So on this step, we get a list of jobs with status open. And um, yeah, as you can see, we have it here as result. Then we aggregate these jobs. And uh, right now, uh, actually, we need to get only job titles. As you can see, we will have it as array of text. As a next step, we have a custom HTTP request to OpenAI, where we specified our prompt. Uh, we just ask him to match uh, this text that we parsed from documents or body of email and uh, return us JSON and we specify JSON schema where we need to get uh, multiple keys. One of the keys uh, selected option so uh, it's option like name of job that we have in the list or none of listed roles because we also may have uh, these kind of cases. And another thing we check if it's new email 
or reply because I saw that many people uh, replying on our generated messages for example we decline someone or yeah something else and they reply and we actually don't need to process it again that's why we need to understand if it's reply we'll just skip it and yeah that's fine and managers will check and process it uh, manually as a result uh, you can see it here we get um, json and it has uh, two keys selected option and a mail type so then we have a condition if it's job found or not so if selected option is not uh, none of listed roles and uh, it's a new email then we continue processing this uh, cv otherwise we just mark it as read because we don't need to answer on that you can add additionally conditions or logic for that to process uh, this kind of emails maybe you want to send it to another agent or maybe you want to mark uh, them with special tag you can customize Customize this workflow however you want. Please leave the comment if uh, this scenario works at all for your business. Maybe you have different HR process or maybe that will work for you or maybe something you need to change here and yeah it will be interesting to hear if this workflow applicable for different types of businesses. Let's continue. We have another condition here. Actually it's optional one because how it works with my client, client or HR manager specify prompt with the requirements because you need definitely to do it manually at least uh, provide your requirements and process with JGPT and then save it here and these instructions actually made automatically in our case and we have a special prompt uh, that asks to create customized uh, scoring requirements and like scoring logic as you can see uh, we have different uh, skills and it has different uh, score and here for example example we will have different logic uh, yeah it's it's not quite readable format and here we have a different requirements as you can see it's more about data analysis and it has different uh, scoring methodology so in this step we need to be sure that these instructions exist and also it uh, will be cool to check prom exist at all because in on the next step we're gonna use it in this custom HTTP request again yeah so here we have a prompt where we specified like that AI is a specialized recruiter. It needs to evaluate CV using our methodology from Airtable. And also as user content, we send uh, parse data from uh, CV itself. And then we also have a JSON schema where we ask to provide score, candidate name. And if we need to decline this candidate, we ask to provide one, two sentences, why uh, they suit or not. So as you can see in the JSON schema, we have this type where it could be string or now. This way we can make some properties in JSON schema optional in uh, for OpenAI. Yeah, so then as a result, we have a score, as you can see, 82, name and reason. Yeah, so we're not going to use this reason because score is higher than needed. Yeah, so we can parse this data and use it as JSON and then get needed key. Yeah, and then we have again, if the score is less, then we send email with subject where we specified our name of job title. And also we have message where we have semi-static, semi-dynamic text with our reason and with the name of job title. For this path, we have a two actually roads. Yeah, we need to do both of them. First of all, here we create mail. Again, we want to make custom email for every candidate. Even we accept this candidate and we ask to like uh, create some email with uh, our HR manager name, with our calendar link. And then we just send this email. Nothing special here. Don't forget to turn off uh, attribution. Yeah, and you also can add uh, CC or hide in CC or you can use another actually Gmail account to get your replies from 
from uh, success candidates to another Gmail. Yeah, and this Gmail keeps only for like service emails. Yeah, and another thing that we want to do, we want to analyze uh, this resume and we want to save some data in our air table. Yeah, again, we have some prompt where we ask to parse data. We provide uh, context. This is text of parse CV. And also we have JSON schema where we specify all needed properties like name, title, current location, phone, short summary, years of experience. Again, as a result, we get uh, some JSON. We need to parse it and save to our air table. Yeah, you just need to map all fields. Yeah, just parse this uh, text map and it's ready. We have a status new. And then because we need um, a link on the file to save it in air table, but we don't have it. Yeah, we, we can only download it from drive. So we use custom uh, request to air table that let us to upload attachment as file. Yeah, it's a bit hidden from default API and here you need to specify your base ID and record ID and also name of field. Then you map data from previous node where we just uh, again used uh, the same node with downloading attachments and yeah, voila, it's ready. We have uh, name, status, score, summary, location and even file that we can open here and you it uh, before go. Let's run it again to see how it works. It's quite fast because we use GPT-4 mini for all requests and um, yeah it's more than enough. As you can see we created new record to Airtable. Score might be different sometimes. Yeah that's fine and also we received our email here. Yeah that's ready. If you like this video, please like, subscribe in our channel, join our community. We share in a lot of cases there. Just today I shared my case for one of member where I helped him to prepare a PRD document that he can use for hiring developer and build this product within a week for his request. Uh, yeah, and we also have a lot of useful guides and we have a simple short course where you can build your first AI agent uh, within an hour. So basically that's all. Thank you for joining me today. Bye.